turnover is higher in the restaurant industry than almost any other. At 150% per year, it's hard to retain good talent and also to fill the positions. You end up having restaurant workers who are overutilized and it makes it very difficult for them to keep up with the lunch rush or the dinner rush. At Hyphen, we make machines that allow restaurants to sell healthy, real food at the same price as fast food. Having flexible technology allows us to make new product, change the configuration and architecture of that product at subsystem and system levels within weeks rather than months. From our control systems, we need to have a very capable and adaptable solution. Uh, working with Beckoff allows us to you know, cross all the stacks from hardware to our cloud infrastructure. With EtherCAT, it's not some closed off, like you can't access bus where you can only get parts from, you know, like this vendor. And then not to mention just like how many nodes you can have on it. So there was that element of EtherCAT being like much more open than a conventional bus. With Beckhoff and machine code development, it was a whole speed thing where for me as a controls engineer, it's kind of like the creative playground. And so oftentimes we talk about, oh, like we really like engineering, but what we really enjoy is the sensation of engineering. And so for me, like that sensation is so tightly coupled to creative flow. You know, when I'm developing in, in the structured text language of, of TwinCat, I don't feel that impedance. And so then the sensation of engineering is coming more fluidly and the ideas you want to implement are coming faster and you can switch back and forth. You know, it's, it's more like painting rather than having to check all these different boxes. So what our machine allows our customers to have is that very consistent and, and flexible capacity. Through automating the assembly of orders, we can reduce the error rate. It's been super easy to use MQTT, right? It's just like very clear and, and simple way of publishing and subscribing messages. We get information down from the, the higher levels with instruction sets or, or recipes, and then we can use that exact same protocol or methodology to report back information, status, metrics. Important thing for us is that we can't fully automate end-to-end -end the process of making food. So we don't try to replace people with machines. We try to extend what the capabilities of the people working in the kitchen can do so that life for a restaurant worker is more humanizing back of house.